using drawing tool and apply geometry. Yeah. This is the topics. The first is preparation of the tools, using of the tools, apply geometry. Then we move to preparation of the tools. Yeah. Fastener paper to the drop bot. Yeah, drafting bot. I think you have this bot. Yeah. I hope all of you have the bot. Or you have the good table yeah, in, in, in your house. Yeah, then you can use this one. Okay. Place at the paper, close the table, left each. Yeah. If you have the tables, uh, then you can use that tables. Okay. And move the paper until the uh, until its lower edge place about the top uh, edge of the T square. Yeah. Align the top edge with the paper with the T square blade. Yeah. That is how you want to set. Yeah. Attach the paper with the corner tape. Yeah, that is the function of your tape previously. Yeah? There is a tape. This is the function. And attach remain the paper corner with the tape. Okay. Sharpening of the pencil. Yeah, look uh, funny, but it's uh, important, you know. That is uh, determine how how you can make the quality of the drawing. Yeah. Remove the wood. This is manually. Yeah. Pen knife with the exposed uh, lid about 8 to 10 millimeters. Yeah. Uh, three eight inch. Okay. The lid. Yeah. And uh, uh, between the pencil with the wood is uh, one and a half inch. Polish the lid into a conical shape with the sandpaper. Yeah. Uh, polish the lid into the conical shape with the sandpaper. Yeah. Rotate the pencil as it moves. Yeah. Pointing the lid, move the pencil full length of the pad. Okay, that is become very good. Clean the lid with the tissue paper. That is the function of your tissue. Yeah. That is uh, you need to detail. Yeah, you need to clean. Then your paper will be perfectly clean. Yeah, dia tak ada kena 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 color lain nanti. Kalau tak nanti your paper is become a uh, kotor lah eh, dirty kan ada kena a uh, uh, bekas-bekas daripada a uh, you sharpening of the pencil tu. Yeah. Okay, uh, preparing the compass. Yeah. Sharp sharpens the lid with the sandpaper. Yeah. Adjust the needle lid to the tips of the needle. Extend slightly more than lid. Yeah, this. Because nanti the needle ni dia akan masuk dalam in your bot. Yeah, then your lid to perfectly perpendicular in the bot. Then using tools yeah function of the tools tool is that is a t square triangle yeah uh, shape to do, to be drawn the straight line okay the tools of the compass 
or the circle template then to help you to make an arch and the circle. Locate the center. Yeah, this is using the compass. Yeah, locate the center of the circle by two intersect line. Yeah. And adjust the distance. Yeah, you need to adjust the distance between the needle and the lid. And equal radius of the circle. Okay, you need to adjust first how much, then you lock. And set the needle point at the center, this center. Yeah, same like this. And start the circle, apply enough pressure to the needle. Yeah, holding compass handle between thumb and the index finger. Yeah, then you can rotate carefully. Okay, complete the circle, remove the handle clockwise. Yeah, this is using the circle template. They say you have the object line. Then there is a point there. That is center of the circle to be drawn. Yeah. First, draw to perpendicular line that compass through center, a center to be drawn. Yeah. Place a template till all the marking coincide with the center line. Yeah. That is the uh, uh, the line previously you created that is perfectly. Yeah. You need to hold the circle, hold the pencil normal with the paper. Uh, then you start to draw. Okay, you can move. Then you have the circle. The same like compass. Yeah. That is the pen. There is a small circle, maybe the template is better. But it's the bigger, then you can use the compass. That is how to use the circle template. Yeah. Uh, draw horizontal line okay that is uh, press the t square hit again the left edge in the table yeah okay smooth the blade on the right Lean the pencil about uh, 60 degree, yeah, with the paper in the direction lines slightly to in, yeah. Okay, that is how uh, you create, there is an angle, yeah. Then you need to rotate slightly. Draw the line from the left to right while rotating pencil slowly. Then the thickness of the line will be similar. Yeah. If not, otherwise, okay, some in the first is the line is slightly thin and in the end it becomes slightly bigger. With the time, that is become more obvious. Yeah, with the first line, another line, the thickness will be not the same. Yeah, then you need to rotate the pencil slowly. Then the thickness of the line is the same. It's not only the first line, 
but with another line. Uh, if you create another line, that is the most important too. Okay? Draw a vertical line. Uh, the first, yeah, set T square as before. Place any triangle on the T square edge. Yeah? That one. Okay, slide your left hand to the whole both T square and the triangle. Yeah. Then lean the pencil triangle. Okay. The same. The angle is 60 degree. Draw the line upwards. Yeah, rotating pencil slowly. Okay. That is how you create draw the vertical line. Yeah. You use the T square. Okay. With the triangle. Okay. The next is draw the line at the 45 degree with the horizontal. Yeah. Draw a line with 45 degree with horizontal. Okay. Place the 45 degree triangle on the T square. It with the press them firmly again the paper. Okay, draw the line in the direction as shown below. Yeah, that is the 45 degree. Then you can create that is the 45 degree, 45 degree of the line. Yeah, that is another 45 degree. Use the 45 triangle. Yeah. Draw a line at the angle 30 degree and the 60 degree. Place the degree, yeah, to 60 degree triangle on the T square edge and the press firmly again on the paper, yeah. Draw line directly as shown below. That is 30 degree. That is uh, uh, 60 degree. Eh? This one uh, 30, this is uh, 60. Eh? Then you draw the line at the 50 degree, 15 degree uh, increment. Eh? Zero degree, you use the uh, T square, okay, and the 15 degree. Uh, there is a minus 30 degree, yeah, with the 45, okay. That is the you have the 30 degree on this, you have the uh, 45 degree. Yeah, then you have the 15th degree on that one, the line. Okay, that how you create 15 degree the line. Okay.
45 is done. 75, how? Okay, 45 plus 30 degree. Then you can produce the 75 degree. Yeah, this is 45. This, the angle is uh, uh, 30 degree. Yeah, then, then you can produce the uh, uh, 75. That is uh, 90 degree is you can use it here. Eh? That is 90 degree. Okay, that is draw the line. Okay, any question? Any final. question? No, eh? Okay, that is draw the line passing through two given point. Okay. The pencil tip the one of the point. Yeah. Place the triangle again, the tips, uh, the pencil tips. Yeah. Then swing with the point, yeah? the second point, then draw the line. Then you need to point first. Yeah. Then the quality of the line will be better. Uh, applied geometry. Yeah. Applied geometry. To be sec a line. Uh, there is a line, A to B. Swing, yeah, swing to arch, yeah, of the any radius. Uh, greater than half of the length of the line with the center at the end of the line. Yeah, something like this. Greater than the half length. So this is more than half. Yeah. Then you, you, you create another curve here. Then you have another, then you create another curve. Okay, you have the two point. Okay. And join the intersect. Okay, you join this. Then you got the center line, the midpoint of the line. Yeah. If you want to create is more than R1, is plus 2, that is can. Then you can have this one, slightly bigger, and that one. Then the, the point is the same. Yeah, the point will be the same. You can, you can find the midpoint of the A and B. That is how uh, you, you can... Uh, uh, find the midpoint without use any ruler. Okay, if you want to use a ruler here, let's say that one is 20 millimeters. Yeah, the midpoint where? That is 10 millimeters here, right? That is the midpoint. But without the ruler, you can use. Then this is the method to bisect a line. Locate the midpoint of the line. Okay, to bisect the angle. Yeah? To be sec and angle, then how? Okay, there is a given, yeah. A point A, there is point B, there is a point C. Okay, there is not scale, yeah. There is not scale. Then to be sec and angle, yeah. You see, there is swing the arts of any radius yeah was the center of the vertex okay then you have that one yeah swing the arch any radius uh, any radius to intersect the point between the previously arch 
uh, and the line. Okay, you have that one, R, uh, one, after that you create another from this point, another radius. Okay, then you got this. That actually, uh, you draw the line, then the, the midpoint of the angle. Yeah. This is the, that is equal. Yeah. That is equal. Okay, how you bisect an angle. Okay, another is to draw the line parallel to a given line and the pass through a given point. Yeah. Then you use the uh, ruler, yeah, triangle. Okay. Then you can move. Then you can create a line. That is, you can create the parallel to given uh, line and the pass through the given point. Okay. Yeah. That one. I can repeat again. Yeah. You have the triangle, one triangle. Yeah. And you combine with the uh, triangle, another triangle with the 90 degree here. Okay. Then you can move another triangle. Then you can create the line. Okay. Then you have the parallel line. Okay. To draw the line parallel to a given line with the specified distance. Yeah. That is... Uh, uh, given distance, distance is uh, R. Okay. Then you can have that one. That is similar. Then you can create a line. Okay, that is with the uh, line parallel with the given line specific distance. Yeah, you can create how much the distance from the first line to another line. Yeah, that one. You can create. Okay. Another is to draw the line perpendicular to the given line at the given point. Yeah, that is revolve methods we call. Yeah. Then you can create the line perpendicular. Okay, I repeat again. You have the same method, yeah? You that is revolve, then you rotate with another angle. Yeah. Then you can produce a perpendicular to a given line at the given point. Yeah. Okay, to draw the line perpendicular to a given line at a given point, adjust adjacent side method. Yeah. That is the perpendicular. 
okay you use the adjacent method yeah okay actually you're already mapping here this is the line actually the perpendicular then if you move okay this will be move on another point okay then you have yeah to draw the line perpendicular to given line at the given point yeah using compass that is another the first arch okay you have the two point then you have another r r2 need to be bigger than r1 okay then you have this point d then you just create the line yeah you draw the line perpendicular to given line at the given point okay this is the keyword r2 bigger than r r2 bigger than r1 okay i repeat again okay you have the line that one uh, then you want to create the uh, perpendicular line at the specific point okay then the line yeah uh, perpendicular you you will see later uh, uh, the function yeah okay draw the line perpendicular to given line from the point not on the line okay this the c okay that is similar eh? you have that one then you can move okay then you can draw the line okay to the draw the line perpendicular to the given line from the point not on the line yeah, using compass yeah that is the point c okay you have that one first then you have the point then you just create then you have the perpendicular okay this node you can also use revolve method how you can try yeah, yeah you can use the revolve yeah the same line eh? the same you, you have the two triangle and you can use the revolve method okay to draw the line making 15 degree with a given line and pass through the given point okay then you need to rotate yeah? that is the 15 degree yeah. Okay. That is the method. To draw the line making thirty degree with the given line and the pass through the given point. Okay. used to then you can move 
then you can create the 30 degree of the line. Then you need to consistent, yeah? you need to consistent to hold the triangle. Otherwise, the the uh, the setup will be uh, uh, changed. Yeah, then the angle is not exactly uh, 30 degree or the 15 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree, 75 degree. Yeah. Okay. This is another to draw line making 75 degree. Yeah. With a given line and pass through a given a point. Okay, that is the 75 degree. Then how you create the fillet and round. Yeah. That is sharp a corner. Any question previously? Yeah, I think you can you can try at home. Yeah, I will upload the the uh, uh, the recorded uh, 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 teaching today. I think there is a recorded previously also the same. Yeah, you can create. I will upload also by today. Okay. Uh, sharp a corner. Then we call a fillet here. Then on that one we call a run. Okay. Uh, understand, yeah? Which one the fillet? Mm -hmm. Which one a run? Fillet in this. Run in this. Okay. This is the fillet. To draw the arch, you must find the location at the center of the arch. Yeah. How do we find the center of the arch? Okay. Then actually this. Okay. This is another importance. Yeah. For the geometry. To draw in the arch of the given radius tangent to two perpendicular lines are yeah, given arch radius r okay you have two then you have this one uh, that is the point first then you have another you can rotate that one you can use you can move another triangle and you create another, you got the point. Yeah. You got the point and you can use the compass, let's say. Okay, that is the center of the arch. Okay, that is the starting point. Okay, that is the ending point. Yeah, this point. Okay, then you can move. Okay, you can move. Then you have the uh, the fillets. Okay, this is the arch. Okay, with the specific uh, tangent and two perpendicular uh, line. Okay. Okay, with the to draw uh, an arch of the given radius tangent to two lines. Yeah. You have another that is how you can uh, make a radius uh, tangent yeah, with the two lines. Then you can move that one. Then you can have uh, uh, two lines, yeah? Mm -hmm. That is the point one. 
that is the point two. Okay. That is the point two, eh? Then you can rotate use uh, your compass, yeah. Okay, uh, another to draw a line tangent to circle at the point on the circle. I hope later you can try yeah, uh, by yourself. Okay. That is another, yeah. That is two line. To draw a line tangent to the circle from the point outside a circle. Okay. That the mark point, the mark a tangent point. Yeah. Then that the line. Yeah. Okay. Uh, when a circle tangent to other circle. Yeah. This. When a circle tangent to another circle. Yeah. You can create that one. Okay. Yeah. The center two circle and the tangent point lie on the same straight line. Yeah. This. Okay, to the draw a cycle tangent to two circle. Yeah, one. Uh, that is the given. That is how you create the another, uh, uh, draw the circle tangent to the two circle. Yeah, you have two circle here. They say this is one, this is two. Then you create another circle, become three. Yeah, that is the method. Then you can produce this line. This example, that is how you develop that one. Yeah. This is the tangent. Okay, this is the point. Okay, this actually you move to here. Okay, to draw a circle tangent to two circle. Yeah, given two circle and the radius of the third circle. Okay, with the R. Then you have the point. Then you have the point. Then you can create the line. Then you have that one. And you have that one. Yeah. When the circle tangent to other circle. Uh, this one, eh? Center, the center two circle and the tangent point must be uh, uh, lie on the same straight line. To draw a circle tangent to the two, two circle, yeah? Yeah, to, yeah, to the draw circle tangent with the two circle. This is the method and the point C.
that one. Uh, if you want to create that one, then you can use that method. Uh, to draw a circle tangent with the two circle. Okay. Okay, to draw a circle tangent with the two circle, yeah, given, okay, two circle and the radius, third radius is R. The first, okay, then minus R1, R is uh, minus R1, and the R minus R2, then you have that one, you have the point, then you can create, okay, another one, then you can use your compass to develop that one. Okay? Okay. Eh? The first, yeah? The first. Then you have R1 and R2. Then you have the R. R minus, that is up to you. How much? Uh, that is depend, this. And you minus R1 and same, R2. Yeah, R minus R2. Then you have the point here. Yeah, then you got the point here and that one. Okay. And another. Then you can have that one. Then you move to, to draw a cycle tangent with the two circles. Yeah, given. That is the same. Yeah, slightly similar. There is a the point there. Another one is then you can create that one. Yeah. Uh, that is important, yeah. Yeah. Uh why did we add, add the radius and then subtract it in one? Uh, uh, we subtracted sorry, the radius okay. for one and we added the radius for one. Yeah, this one. We, here? Yes, here. For the, we subtracted yeah, you R minus R1. Yeah. Uh, I not got your point, sorry. Uh, I said the, here we subtracted the, the radius R minus R1, and then we R plus R2. Why did we add it here, not subtract? Oh. That one is we, we, we want to create another another point here, you know. So if, if you have, let's say, if you have a two circle, yeah, there is two circle, then you want to create yeah. this uh, a tangent here. Okay, then the equation is different. Okay, the first point is you got R minus R1. Okay, and R okay. plus R2. Okay, then you got the point here. Yes. Then you can create using the compass. Then you can create this. Then you continue. So it specifies where we have to draw the tangent? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that is different with the, from the previously. Yeah. Previously, you want to create it here. That is uh, uh, the difference. Okay, thank you. Okay. okay, to draw an approximate ellipse, yeah, uh, given a major and a minor axis. Okay, this is important too, yeah. Then you have this. Uh, there is a uh, 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 four point here. Okay.
Okay, you can create that one first. Okay, that is the first. Eh? You create the uh, another circle. Okay, you use two. Yeah. Okay, you can create here. Eh? You use the first compass and you use another here. Then you got one point. Then the same like that one. Okay. Then you have that one. Then you got the point. Yeah. Then another. Okay. Then you move to another point. Yeah. Okay. You got that one. Okay. You create another point. This one. Then you have that one first. Okay. Okay, this is the point, yeah. Okay, then you can uh, rotate that one. Then you can just continue. Okay, first you use this to that one. Okay, use that one to this one. Okay, we, we can repeat, yeah? Uh, to draw an approximate uh, ellipse, yeah, use a major and a minor in the sense. Uh, okay, you can create that one, then you have, uh, we create another line. You use this point yeah, at the center to create that one. Okay. Then this point yeah, to create that one. Okay. Then we create with this two. Yeah, we create the point here. Okay. We move to another. Okay. That is... Uh, uh, similar, eh? you can create another line from the center. Okay, we have another point there. Then you have another, not another, another center. Then you can from this, yeah, the bling one. You can create the curve and another curve here. Okay, then you can use. Uh, uh, the first, okay, here, you can use compass, you can develop that, that one, okay, then you move to in the top, yeah, here, then you can create another, then you, you, you able to develop, uh, uh, ellipse, yeah, I hope, I hope you can try, yeah, later. If the face to face that is easy, we can try directly. Okay, but now I just uh, uh, explain first, then you try uh, by yourself. If you face any problem, you can ask me. Okay, this is how to keep your drawing clean. Yeah, you clean everything, you wash your hand. Yeah. Uh, there is a tissue, you clean your pencils, and the same, everything. Okay. Uh, please don't do this. Uh, you, you use uh, sandpaper, okay, to soften off your uh, uh, lips. Yeah, that is very bad. Huh? You swiss that is become uh, uh, that there is uh, the dust eh? the dust of the uh, uh, little pencil okay that is will if you switch that is uh, your, your your paper will be become uh, dirty yeah okay that is finished any question Any question?
um, sir. Yeah. Uh, instead of using sharpener, eh, instead of using sandpaper, can you use sharpener? Uh, you can, but somehow, yeah, use a sharpener. Uh, 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 in the end, uh, it, it's not really sharp. Yeah, but it's possible. Yeah, uh, not, nothing, nothing. You you need to directly use a uh, uh, sandpaper. Uh, then, then you can try actually which one is uh, better. If you have a good sharpener, then yes, you can use uh, 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 the sharpener. Yeah, uh, Nazmi. Okay, oh, anybody okay, yang belum isi? Okay, yeah, anybody yang belum isi attendance? Sudah semua, eh? Okay, any question? Any question? 